Well, hello, Pastor Joel Hitchcock, Evangelist Joel Hitchcock here. And I know my last speech was like an hour long, and I'm definitely not going to do that again, not today at least. But I wanted to talk to you just for less than five minutes about this whole GameStop thing. Um, so what's it all about? To give you an idea, uh, just to tell you what has happened, GameStop is a stock, and it was going down through, the, through a few years. The stock price was going down. And then suddenly it spiked up because of a group of everyday investors that banded together and started just buying like crazy and it pushed the stock up. So that's fair. That is just how it works. Now here's the problem. The um, when GameStop was going down, let me tell you about the stock market. You can make money in the stock market when it goes up, and you can make money when it goes down. How do you make money when it goes up? Well, you buy something at $10, a stock, and it goes up to $100, so you make $90 on the way up. And uh, you get your $10 back, so you got $100 when you started with $10. How do you make money when the stock market goes down? It's called short selling. And so when you see a stock and you see that the, the company has problems, it's going to go down, you can actually sell your stock before you actually buy it. It's like you borrow the shares. Uh, so you, you sell to open a position at $100. Uh, the uh, price goes down all the way to $10 and then you buy to close your position. So you sold first to buy and now you've made $90 on the way down. That's called short selling. Go long when it goes when you want enter a trade to make money. Go, the market going up, and when the market goes down, you go short. <clears throat> so that is just everybody does it all the time. And uh, so how's that got to do with GameStop, and why is this so so horrible? What uh, what's been been happening? <clears throat> it's about the powers that be, the elitists, and I'll tell you why in a moment. <clears throat> but the so the elitists which are typically the hedge fund managers. What is a hedge fund? A hedge fund is a company that makes money with all kinds of uh, intricate ways of trade. They, 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 they make money when it goes up and they make money when it goes down and they put billions of dollars in these trades or millions and they make money. For example, the one guy, can you believe this? Um, I just heard it today, his name is Ken Griffin. I know nothing about Ken Griffin, I don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy, but he made seven billion dollars in the pandemic, seven billion in the pandemic because of the market's volatility. When the market was going down because of the pandemic, he made money going down, he shorted the market. Then when the money went, when the market went up, he made money going up and he went long the market. So, so he made seven billion dollars. And that's fair. He knows what he's doing. He's got brain power. He's got the money to do it. Fine. Now, <clears throat> these hedge fund managers have been shorting GameStop because GameStop, the company, has been going down in price because of whatever. And then a group of everyday investors on Reddit, Reddit is like Facebook, you know, it's just another uh, platform. They all bound together, about four million of them. I think they're up to five million now. And uh, it's just a bunch of what they call ragtag investors. They all said, let's just buy GameStop and drive the price up. And this is what happens every day among the elite. They drive the price down, they drive the price up. And by driving the price down, they're making money going down. But then all these investors, every day, small investors with $100 here, $1,000 there, one guy, $55,000. That's a small investor, by the way, for $55,000 compared to the big, big millionaires, billionaires. But you know, everyday guys was putting in $5,000 or, or $1,000 or $100. And they moved the price up because they bought and bought. And when you buy the demand, there's less demand and the price goes up because when there's less demand, there's, it costs more. So they drove the price up. And what happened was the elitists, these billionaires that have shorted the market, are now losing money because they are making money as the market goes down, these billionaires, and then these little guys, four million of them or whatever it is, 
they started moving the price back up, skyrocketed it, and these guys were starting losing money like crazy. And the thing is, when you when you buy when you buy a stock and it goes from ten dollars to a hundred, you make that ninety dollars. When it goes from ten dollars down to zero, you lose ten dollars. But when you short the market, making money down going down, your profit can be all the way from you know the hundred dollars to to zero so so you make a hundred dollars when it goes all the way down to zero you make a hundred dollars going down but if that market moves against you and goes up to a million dollars you can lose a million one hundred dollars because it went all the way up there's no risk in there's no um no cap on what you can lose when you short the market and <clears throat> so so these billionaires were losing money like crazy and but listen billionaires you make money by the shorting the market going long the market whatever you know it's, it's just it's just how it works that's how it is and nobody gives a little sympathy at all to the little guys when they put in a thousand dollars and they lose their whole account there's zero left nobody cares but these little guys have been buying GameStop up like crazy and it went sky high in the last week it went from in the last two weeks it went from like forty dollars up to five hundred dollars it's down to three hundred fifty now and you know what happened um, the powers that be the financial powers that be and we're going to see more information as this comes goes to court or whatever but the financial powers that be they halted all trades in GameStop. They said that you can no longer buy GameStop. You can only sell it. So when you can only sell what you, what you have, when you can only sell it, that means that you can only make money when it goes down. Well, those little guys, they sell it and they get out and they cut their losses. And then, of course, the billionaires, they make their money going down again. You know, these are elitists. So I'm kind of livid about it. I have, no, I have no GameStop stock, by the way. You know, I, I, um, I, I just um, want to tell you what's going on. I have some experience, but I have no GameStop a stock that, you know, I, I'm just saying this because I, my focus is upon, the, upon the, how unfair this world is. And I'm gonna, I see I'm already at seven minutes. Let me finish by 10 minutes. But um, the, so, so the billionaires can make money going up, the elitists can make money going down, but when the little guys drive a stock up, somebody jumps in and stops them from buying. Stops them. And it's like, it's like playing football. You know, when you play football and there's four down, in the middle of the game, you don't just say, all right, things are not going as well as, as we thought. Um, we'll give you another two down. So... So they change the rules in the middle of the game. It doesn't happen. A game has rules. And so when, when somebody goes into a game, you at least know this is the rules. Whether you're rich or poor, whether you're strong or not, whether you're a fantastic athlete or thin as a rake, when you play football, there's rules that equal playing field. And the thin as a rake guy might be crushed, but at least he knew what he's getting into when he goes into this game. And the big burly guy is going to crush him over and they're going to win, you know, because there's rules. At least you know your risk when you go in. Now that's how it is with the stock market. When you go in, at least you know you can lose everything. You're risking your hard-earned money that you got from many, you know, hours that you worked, um, cutting the grass, working at McDonald's, evangelist <laughs> preaching, whatever, you know. Um, these, this is... Um, this is this this these rules that are they're there for a reason and then these the rules change this week they absolutely they halted buying GameStop and by doing that they are bailing out the elitist billionaires and hurting the little guys and I hope this goes to court I hope you know this I hope a lot of these this comes out this is the, I hope that a lot of corruption is going to come up in the financial realm so i'm at my 10 minutes but i got to give keep please give me one more minute real quick um 
this is what's happening in our world today. It's nothing new, but it's just so in, the, in your face these days. It's not like even being done in the background. It's like not backroom deals. It's like in the open. I'll give you two quick examples. Our President Trump was impeached in 15 hours for something for which they have no proof. They don't present evidence and didn't take counter arguments or anything. They just impeached him in the Congress. Of course, I don't think it's going to go anywhere in the Senate and uh, Trump will not be impeached at all in, in, the, in the Senate. They wouldn't ratify that. Um, and, um, but this was in broad daylight. Another thing, Trump's Twitter account and many other conservatives were totally, at first they were just blatantly flagging their tweets, you know. That's already bad enough. But then to add to that insult, they actually banned Trump from Twitter for life. And I think in, in uh, Facebook too, I'm not sure where he's at, at Facebook. You can't even get any news from Trump right now. Where do you get it? I, I've, I watched Don, uh, um, Donald, John, Donald, J. Trump, Donald J. Trump Jr.'s um, messages a little bit. and uh, he, Not that he's saying much about his dad right now, but I mean... Isn't that horrible, you know, that you do that? You, you, the powers that be quench free speech. And let me just say, last thing, parlor. So Twitter is losing millions of people because they did this to Trump. And another company that does the same thing called Parler is gaining millions of new uh, subscribers. Well, that's fair. You know, if you don't like this company, you go to that company. That's all fair. But what do they do? They go ahead and they do several things, three things at least. Number one, they remove it from the App Store on, um, uh, on, the, on the iPhone App Store, the Apple. Number two, they remove it from Android. Can't even download it from Android uh, on the Google Play Store. And number three, you can at least still see Parler on on your computer, even though you can't do it on your phone, so you go on the computer. So what do they do? Amazon goes and removes Parler because Amazon was the server, which means they 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 give Parler a place on the internet. When you go on a website, that website is where somebody's hosting. It's like a big storage room, you know. Somebody's hosting that site. So so Amazon goes and removes Parler. So now Parler is off of iPhone. Androids as well as even any computer. They're totally gone for now. I believe they'll be back up and I hope they do very well and that thousands of people will just follow them. But listen, or subscribe to them. But listen, this is, this is so unfair. And we're seeing it in the media, free speech, and now we see in the finances. So we need to pray. I'm done with my little speech. I'm meant to go five minutes. I'm at 13 minutes. But uh, let's just pray. Heavenly Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that you have your way. Lord, we pray for America. We pray for this wonderful country, the land of the free, the home of the brave, and has given everybody equal opportunity. And God, I pray as, as the forces and the powers that be want to remove that and fight that, and I pray, Lord, that you will just have your way. Bring the Goliaths down and let the Davids triumph. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.